Uh, dear colleagues, I'm glad you could join us today for the new edition of the EORE Hour. So just for a bit of introduction, uh, I'm Firat al Malkawi, the co-chair of the EORE Advisory Group. And on behalf of the advisory group, it's my pleasure to, to introduce this uh, new EORE Hour webinar. Uh, so for those who uh, joined for the first time, the EORE Hour webinar is an initiative uh, that was launched by the EORE AG at the end of 2021. Uh, and the webinar takes place uh, the last Wednesday of every month for which we have volunteers to present on a chosen topic. Uh, we had five webinars organized so far in 2021 and 2022, and this is the third one for 2023. The last webinar took place in October and was organized by HI. Uh, and for those who uh, could not attend or would like to uh, review the, the past uh, webinars, we invite you to watch the recordings online on the EORE AG YouTube channel. Uh, so for today's topic, EORE Digital Application and Practices, EORE Hour hosted by Catholic Relief uh, Services Vietnam, our speakers today are Mrs. Cho, uh, Mrs. Cho uh, Mrs. Nan, and Mrs. Yen. Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm always interested in any topic related to the digital EORE, so I'm very excited for this one, and we hope today's uh, discussion will inspire you. Uh, and we hope uh, you overcome some challenges that you may face in your future projects. So as for the last uh, webinar, today's webinar will, uh, will be one hour and will be followed by 15 minutes networking circle uh, to give you the chance to connect with other professionals around the world uh, on risk education. So we hope uh, that you will be able to stay on for the last part two. And before handing it over to CRS, just the final uh, logistic notes, uh, we kindly ask everyone to keep their mics mute during the presentation. And we invite you to submit your questions directly in the chat box. Uh, there will be a Q&A session after the presentation uh, where the speakers will be taking up uh, the questions raised in the chat. Uh, and in case not all questions have been answered uh, or addressed uh, due to time uh, constraints, the remaining question will be compiled and answered in, in writing by the speakers after the webinar and the responses will be circulate, circulated through the EORE Hour mailing list. As for the previous EORE Hour webinars, this webinar uh, will be recorded, except for uh, the networking circle part, and will be available online on the EORE Advisory Group's YouTube channel in a later date. Uh, and in case you are facing any uh, any issues, any technical issues, please contact Christine or Ines in the chat for assistance. Now I'm handing it over to Cho, and we wish you uh, all fruitful and inspiring eerie hour. Cho, over to you. Yeah. Uh, good morning, good uh, afternoon, good evening, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, my name is uh, Cho. I'm uh, from Catholic Relief Service of Vietnam. Uh, I would like uh, to uh, present uh, about CS in Vietnam program and also about our migration program in CS Vietnam. Uh, next. After my set, uh, introduction about our program, about our organization, uh, Ms. Ngân Phạm uh, from my college will present to you uh, the EYE digital, uh, EYE uh, practice and uh, also application and practice. And after that, we will have the session uh, of the demonstration of um, EYE game app for your information as well. Uh, firstly, I would like uh, to share my screen to uh, share about our program of uh, Catholic Relief Service in Vietnam.
um, Catholic Relief Service is uh, a short term called CRS. Uh, we based in uh, the United States and now working in over 100 countries all over the world. Um, CRS started working in Vietnam from 1994 and uh, we have three main programs. Uh, the first program, excuse me, my, my screen is uh, just very dark. Just in you know, one moment, please. So CRS uh, started working in Vietnam uh, since 1994, and uh, we have three main programs. The first program is uh, we call is the disaster risk reduction and the climate change adaptation. The second program uh, we call the My Action program. And the third one is the uh, disability program. Um, excuse me, sorry, I don't know why the laptop. Ngân, could you please help me uh, to continue the, the presentation? Because uh, I don't know why my screen is very dark now. I cannot see anything else. Okay, sure. Uh, so uh, next to um, the, the discussion um, to the point of uh, Tito about uh, the our, our key program areas in my uh, in CRS in Vietnam. Uh, yes, our my next uh, program here we have uh, the uh, the project like location for my next program is in five um, provinces in the central of Vietnam. So we. Uh, our um, ERE my action program focus on uh, ERE. Uh, we do the ERE in the community, the ERE advocacy, ERE in school, and also have um, uh, activities to support victim assistance. Um, for the victim assistance, uh, we had a lot of uh, um, activities to support the livelihood for the victim assistant and also to increase the reach uh, to social service uh, for them, um, especially the medical and uh, and vocational training. Um, and up to now, we can assist to uh, um, 500, uh, 5,000, um, th sorry, 3,519 landmine survivors. And uh, for the area in community, there are about um, 3 um, million uh, direct and indirect beneficiaries in the community in the five provinces in the center of Vietnam uh, through uh, the working with the youth union and uh, other uh, government agencies in the center of Vietnam. Uh, for the work in school, we are working with uh, the, um, um, uh, we are working with the primary and secondary school through the partnership with uh, um, Department of um, Education and Training in the five province, and until now we uh, we uh, could cover the um the the um, more than one hundred and uh, um, more thousand and five hundred schools in the uh, central Vietnam. Nearly one million students, primary and secondary student, and more than um three uh thirty thousand teachers at the five at the, the two levels. Uh, so I think that is also the good achievement for the URE in school that we had uh, in our program. And um, uh, in our uh, program, uh, we are working with Vietnam Mind Action Center and uh, and have the um, other um, relationship with uh, other stakeholders to develop the national URE strategy and standard that is uh, for in the national level uh, and in the provincial level, we are advocating for uh, the, 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 the um, how do you say, the sustainability to integrate the ERE content in uh, the, um, the, the, in the uh, program, in the educational program. And we also cooperate with the university to train future teachers on ERE. And the next one, we um, when we are working with uh, students, with teachers, we try to develop um, standardized ERE guidelines, ERE game app to promote ERE in 
knowledge among students and communities. And looking forward, we are uh, trying to having a wider scope to the higher risk uh, community um, to better um, have a better approach and comprehensive approach uh, for ERE for the high risk um, um, it, communities in Vietnam. So next one, I think this is uh, the one that uh, the the information that most of you are interested uh, about. Uh, this is about the um, digital um, ERE practice in uh, Ceres, Vietnam. As you know, that uh, ERE is the is the key, the signature for um, my next program of uh, Ceres in Vietnam. So uh, we are uh, trying to having more channel to uh, get uh, your e message to uh, all the student teachers and communities. And uh, today I will introduce to you the four um, digital products, your e products to you. Firstly, it's about the explosive ordinance risk education game application that we focus uh, to target children. Um, the second one is the your e digital library. Uh, that the, this is the cooperation products uh, between CRS and Vietnam My Next nice, uh, Center to uh, target all the community. And the next one is the ERE digital training course for teachers. And um, the last one is uh, uh, I will introduce to you some information about the ERE cartoon for children. So the, the, the first one is about the, um, the game app. This is the, the uh, basically the game app for children uh, that um, contain ERE messages uh, and practicing so that uh, children can um, assess to, uh, to that and, and, and uh, uh, naturally um, get the ERE information. Um, this uh, game app is very helpful to improve the accessibility um of, of children for um your e messages like as you can see because it can expand the reach um uh, it can accessible to all of the people who get in to, to who, who get the internet connection uh especially for other project um the the non project areas uh um all the, the children can assess into this um game app and uh, with the game by uh, approach, it can attract all students. Um, uh, and normally, children is very in interesting in with uh, with the, the the game app approach. So that is the objective of this application. Uh, you can see this is some of the pictures uh, we got from the uh, game app um, implementation with the teachers and students in the um, classroom. This is uh, one of the classroom in the primary uh, mm, primary school children um, in Quang Chi, Vietnam. And uh, I will shortly introduce about uh, the how to download this app. You can uh, easily download this app. Uh, my college will have to uh, send the link through the chat box or in your iOS or Android um, Play Store, you can easily um, search uh, the mind risk education keywords. And after that, you can see the game app uh, in, the, in the top of your search. It's very easy to find that. Um, and lately, uh, my college will help you to have like a, a very um, a short visit uh, to this app. <laughs> Uh, this is the picture of one student of um secondary student um using this app in the uh in her her phone her smartphone. Yeah. Maybe you can see this uh this the the app now. Uh, this is the trailer of this the app uh, we. Những bài học giúp trẻ em phòng tránh tai nạn bom mìn. Bảo vệ trẻ em khỏi tai nạn bom mìn.
um, I will talk about the game app development process. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, the uh, like a, a digital uh, solution for children to assessing ERE message. So it can it the process is similar to other communication process. Uh, we start with the planning with um uh, with um initial planning uh, and with other stakeholder partners and uh. Uh, and, and 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 so that to have a, a really clear plan about how we're gonna um, uh, develop this app and after that we will re recruit uh, we have the recruitment process uh, and in the recruitment process we would like to make sure that we have the uh, digital uh, vendor who can help us to um, develop the game app that is not only uh, have the um, convenience smooth functions uh, that as we expect, but also have a very educational um, uh, um, experience on that. Uh, so uh, luckily we have a major company, uh, they are very supportive uh, and they also get a very um, many experience in, uh, in the development. Uh, after that, in the step three, we have the core development. We work with the vendors and partner to develop the game application, uh, trying to get the uh, all the illustration, uh, get the illustration and um, mm, mm, uh, uh, the 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 sound and uh, all the um, the stage of the uh, game. Uh, and after that, we have the in the stage four, we have the testing phase. We test the application with uh, um, with uh, partners and uh, especially with children. Get them to um, get uh, to to have advice for us to, uh, to better develop this app. And after that, we have finalized it, this app, promote the use in the um, the primary and the secondary school, and. Um, after that, we have the long time for maintain, maintain it and improve it um, with the vendors. So that is the whole process of the um, game, this game app. Uh, for this game app, we also have the application data management. Um, this um, we with this app, we have the automatic data analytics, which is very. Um, convenient for us to see the user information, the number of player, the number of playing turns, the number of session completion um, with a real time monitoring. So that's why for us it's very easy for us to um, to 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 track if this uh, month or next month uh, the user the the children can the user uh, access to this app a lot or not and. If there's not many children assessed uh, to that, so what's the problem? We can see that, though, so that is very helpful, but it's also uh, very important for us to protect the data of the user also. Uh, so up to now, there is uh, more than 600,000 school children in the five provinces, uh, including the primary and secondary student can assess to this game app. Um, we a lot of um, uh, how to say the very many compliment from the government partner, the Department of Educational and Training, the teachers and students for this app, and um, uh, this is this this have a lot. This is the compliment, the the encouragement for us to continue to have better ERE um, materials and tools in the future. Um, so next one, I'd like to in, uh, invite you to um, visit the ERE Digital Library. So for this uh, library, we are in the progress of uh, completed. It's uh, now it's about the completion is about 70%. This is the cooperation between CRS and Vietnam Action Center, uh, shortly VNMAC. Um, uh, this, this is, um, as you can see, this is the library. So VNMAC is, uh, as uh, I just said, uh, VNMAC is uh, the um, uh, Vietnam Mination Center and they are in charge of um, the uh, ERE uh, coordination uh, in particular, uh, the Mination uh, coordination in, in general. So uh, with this library, we will help them to strengthen uh, the uh, ERE coordination capacity at national level. 
Um, and uh, this library will also help us to strengthen the uh, materials at school. Um, it, this is, will be a comprehensive ERE library uh, for school uh, to integrate your lessons. And um, uh, I can see some um, questions in the chat box, but uh, maybe my colleagues will help us to, um, to send the answer now or later. Uh, in the um in, in the um, uh, Q and A, we can we can uh, start with the discussion. Thank you. Um, for now you can uh, you can start to add the uh, questions in the chat box. Um, and for the community, uh, this is accessible uh, to the wide range of community because uh, this will be a web page. Um, so everyone who get the internet can get to the this library. Uh, so it's, uh, it will support the ERE awareness raising. Um, my college will help us to, um, to send the link. This is like a um, testing link of the um, library because now it's not complete yet. So after this complete, it will be attached into the VNMAP official website. Uh, but for now, it is in the testing link. You can see it um, now, and I maybe I I can also start to um, okay maybe later. Um, so for this library, as you can see in the screen, we have the um, the, the land page, and we have a lot of room there with the circle and we when we click into the circle it will uh, get us to the room the the for example the landmine displaying room the gallery the uh, video gallery or the um, picture gallery uh, or the uh, communication materials so there are a lot of um, uh, materials there based on uh, the uh, the room that you you get to um, for example if you if you can see in the video here, so in the um, landmine display room, we have the virtual gallery on the uh, explosive organs, and you can see the virtual uh, image of the bombs um, and mine. So that is very helpful for children and uh, and adults also to imagine about the the size, the um, uh, the image of the EO. Yeah, all the EO will have this virtual um, image. So this is a structure of your e National Library. We have the landmine display room, the document display room, the image gallery, and the video gallery. And for each room here, um, we will uh, uh, have um, smaller, um, smaller linkage to the 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 the. To, to to the 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 size and the and the content of the um no, materials. For example, for the um image gallery, we have the communication image, survey and clearance image, international cooperation image, or victim assistant image. Yeah, um, these are some of the uh, demo pictures of the app. I hope that you can. See the app yourself uh, from the link in chat box. Yeah, uh, so the next um, uh, digital solution for ERE I'd like to introduce to you is the ERE digital, digital training course for teachers. As you can uh, uh, find out in our project that we have the paper-based uh, guidelines for teachers to integrate ERE into the compulsory lessons in the class uh, from grade one to grade nine. However, to make it more convenient and sustainable for teachers to assess to this training, uh, we developed the digital training course with more videos and, and, and uh, illustration for teachers to, um, to, to assess. 
um, this, um, like I just said, um, the other objective of this training course is to re uh, support to reinforce the ERE knowledge and skills for teachers in integrating the ERE content into their teaching lesson for students at the two um, educational level. Um, so uh, for most of the um, ERE uh, content that we develop, we base on the uh, four key uh, topics. First is about the characteristic of uh, EO. The second one is the causes of EO accidents and prevention of EO accidents. The third one is about the consequence of EO accidents. And the last one is about the, the, um, at the proper attitude, the responsibility for EO survivor and people living with disability. So um, all the guidelines, the um, videos uh, and the training course of the uh, CRS will um, around these four topics. This uh, training course uh, will um, be complete in five steps. First, uh, we start the cooperation with uh, Vietnam National Institute of Education and Science. Uh, so for this um, training course, we don't we didn't choose the venture who is only focused on digital solution, but we start with um, uh, the government agencies from education because for this training course, we need a lot of educational experts so that they can advise us how to um, bring the uh, educational content into a digital dashboard. So um, very lucky that we have uh, Venice, uh, Vietnam National Edu uh, Institution of uh, uh, Education and Science uh, to, uh, to go along with us. So uh, in the step through step two, we start the co-development co with uh, Venice. Um, now, until now, we are developing the script and finalize the training course for 2026 lesson. As you can see that uh, from grade one to grade nine, we have um, 26 lesson, compulsory lesson in the school that we can um, integrate the ERE content into that um, based on some subjects of the, of the, of the, of the program. And uh, now we are trying to get the um, script for the 26 lesson and put them into the video. And after that, uh, we have the guideline for the students to use that video into their lesson. Um, uh, so that is uh, how we're gonna do it. In the, uh, the third step, we will test this uh, training with the target groups of uh, basically, is um, teachers in the five uh, provinces. And uh, step four in the future, when we finalize it, we will try to promote this um, training course to teachers in the five provinces and also other provinces. And uh, maybe through this year, um, uh, that's what, um, forums in the uh, in in the region or in the world, we will try to introduce it also. And the last one, we will try to maintain the cross uh, with uh, Venice. And up to now, um, luckily we have the commitment from Venice that they will um, uh, they will uh, maintain the uh, the the website uh, at least until uh, five years after the project ends. So I would um, shortly train, uh, introduce you about the training cross function. Uh, basically, we have about five um, main functions of the course. Uh, firstly, they can have the account user. They can self. They can have the self learning management function where we can uh, get into the course and uh, manage their own learning um, pace. Um, secondly, in the content of the course, we have the lesson illustrating videos uh, that user can, can refer to the uh, videos uh, to see how the 26 lesson gonna be in the real life and uh, how they can um, organize the activities for students in the real life. Um, next one, um, 
to to support to that videos uh, they can access to the guidance that it also in the in the video uh, base uh, um, the PowerPoint but uh, with um, mm, uh, with with audio so that they can uh, the teachers can follow the video guidance on how to use the, um, to to apply the video into the lesson. Uh, about the materials, um, the, the user can access to a lot of ERE, like all the ERE um, uh, series uh, digital ma materials. Uh, so that one of the, the difficulties for uh, Vietnam teachers when they are trying to get the ERE into their lesson is that they cannot find the materials. So with this library like the e-library they can get to the videos the the pictures the um, uh, game app and everything so that they can just have a click and then everything will be there for them to 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 easily use and uh, we also get the uh, additional ere linkage for example like the library that i just um, introduced to you they can access to it uh, from this website, and uh, they can have the interactive learning questions uh, to increase their interactive uh, interaction with the web page. And after all, uh, if they uh, enroll to the course, they can also get the certificates from Venus. So that is very uh, useful for them in uh, their career. Um, so this is Đây cũng là thông tin bác Bình. Bác cử quân nhân ở xã chia sẻ với chúng mình. Các bạn nhớ nhé, khu vực đó cực kỳ nguy hiểm vì bị ô nhiễm và có thể có mất. Bóc mìn sắp lại sau chiến tranh sẽ bị phát nổ nên tuyệt đối không được lại gần. Bóc mìn vật nổ là một trong những nguyên nhân hàng đầu gây ra ô nhiễm môi trường đất ở nước ta đấy. Các bạn hãy giữ thông tin chúng mình siêu tầm đầu trên đây nhé. The, um, như các bạn thấy trên hình, bản đồ ô nhiễm mốt mìn vật nổ ở Việt Nam hiện nay, rất nhiều tỉnh thành bị ô nhiễm, um, đặc biệt các tỉnh duyên hải miền Trung. Hiện nay, số bom mìn vật nổ có sót lại sau chiến tranh vẫn nằm rải rác ở khắp mọi nơi, uh, bất kể là đồng bằng, rừng núi hay ao hồ, sông suối. Biết đến còn khoảng 800.000 người mốt nạn sót lại trên các vùng miền tại Việt Nam, với gần 6,1 Yeah, so that is the, the last um, information about the um, the training course. I'd like to uh, move into the uh, the last uh, digital um, solution of us. This is the ERE cartoon for children. Um, basically, the, our project is about uh, serving uh, students from grade one to grade nine to get better ERE uh, message um, knowledge and practice. So that's why we're trying to get all the um, interesting, uh, attractive, uh, interacting uh, things that that um, student would like and remember. So cartoon is one of the solution. Um, this, um, this cartoon will be in. Khoan đã, mẹ mình rằng không được vào chỗ có lùm cây rầm ở bãi đất này các bạn ơi. Cartoon is um, about um, the, the, the four. Uh, wait, sorry. Let's see a little bit. Uh, about four main topics that I uh just introduced to you. Um, for example, for this um footage, I take it from one of the um one of the video. Oops, what happened? Sorry. Oh, uh, in the animation video, we are trying to get. Um, Quan đã, mẹ mình rằng không được vào chỗ có lùm cây rầm ở bãi đất này, các bạn ơi. A dangerous uh, situation that the children can, uh, can, can have the real life and can face them. Um, th this video is, uh, is short and simple, friendly, uh, a little bit funny. Chất liệu khác nhau. Bom mìn vật nổ dù hoan dị nhưng vẫn có thể phát nổ. Bom mìn vật nổ có hình dạng, kích thước, màu sắc khác nhau. Ví dụ như bom bi thì có rất nhiều loại, 
có loại như trái ổ, như trái dứa hoặc như trái cam. Cũng dây phát nổ nữa đây các cậu ạ. Đúng rồi, bông bi thì còn đa hình dù nữa. Loại bông bi hình dạng như trái ổi, trái dứa. So this is a bit of introduction about the topic for each um, um, set of videos. For example, for primary sec um, and secondary students, we cover four key topics that I just uh, introduced to you about the characteristic of EO, cause and prevention, consequence and uh, um, responsibility. And uh, for a wider audience, we will Uh, we will try to get the um, the these five um, the the four key um, topics, and also we get one more topic about the promote peace for the world. Uh, this is um, will be attached into the VNMAP library, digital library that I just introduced you before. So we also get. Uh, very good feedback from users. Uh, teachers use this video in the class now, and that is very helpful because um, the, uh, uh, all the messages are very short and simple and easy to remember. And student likes to have animation in class. <laughs> so here's uh will be very uh the last slide for me this is uh some of the lesson learned that we got from the very long time getting uh many kind of uh, digital solution for EOE. the first time uh, the first um first thing is about um be very clear about your expectation with the products because if you are not very clear about what you're gonna do and what function in the EORE solution that you're going to work with, uh, it will be very hard to other people, especially for the vendor, to develop the way that you like. Uh, so be very detailed and uh, be very clear, clear about that. The next one is about the red. Um, we will need a very re regular follow up with all stakeholders um, because um, normally this um, uh, development will need the Uh, the the cooperation of many stakeholders, not only the vendors and your organization, but also your partners, uh, your um, um, government agencies, um, your uh, target groups, for example. So uh, you need to uh, get their interest and uh, get their contribution all the time and make sure that you get the regular follow up with them. Uh, so that you can uh, track uh, and don't don't make anything behind the schedule. Um, the next one is the strategic plan to promote your products. As I said, um, when you develop a very um, fancy um, products, you don't want it to be like uh, forget forgotten by anyone. So uh, make sure that you get the plan to maintain it. Uh, who gonna maintain it if? if the project ends and uh, make sure that um, your partner uh, and your target groups will use it. Um, we are running out of time, I'm sorry. Um, uh, next one will be very detailed when reviewing the products to ensure the quality. Um, like the first one, you need to be very detailed and very clear about your expectation. Uh, when you uh, review the uh, products, make sure that all the um, the expectation uh, reflects in the products. Uh, the next one is about always make room for product improvement. You need to make sure that you have the budget. You need uh, to have the um, you need the, the the one or two lines in the contract with the vendors that's showing that you you can improve the product at any time and it's it is it, proper things to do. Um, and the next one is remember that user will be the one to continue to, to use it. Um, so remember the user-centric design. And the last one is uh, you need to always careful about the data security and privacy, especially with all the data of the user. So here are all the lesson learned that we got from the, um, from the um, prolonged process of the digital um, uh, development. So that is the end of my uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Um, 
Thank you. Maybe um, my college uh, next uh, will um, help you to um, experience uh, the game app. Thank you. Isn't can you stop sharing? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. So I would like to uh, demonstrate the game, EOI game of uh, CCRS developed. You know that we have uh, taken six months uh, for development of this the EOI game app. And um, I would like to share screen um, so that we can you can see uh, the, the game, how to play it. Yeah, just do like the guidance. Yeah, yeah. Example like this, and then submit. And um, and when we finish, uh, the challenge try challenge here. They can this can move to the next stage, the uh, next stage. So I just demonstrate the first stage, uh, for you to see, and then you can move to after finish the the stage one and. Is come to the stage two, and then this three, four, five, and final stage. Yeah. It's very yeah. Thank easy, you very much. Of simple, yeah. right? Easy to play this game. This is very uh, um, favorite game for um, many students in the primary and secondary school and in the project. Province, Vietnam, in our courses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, let's be. Yeah. Thank you. So, Ian, Ian, we just okay. have about ten minutes left. Can you hear me, Ian? Ian. Yeah. Yeah, Miss yeah. Chong. 
Thank you. Yeah, now. we only have about 10 minutes left. So I think that uh, mm -hmm. we, uh, uh, we just do quick uh, demonstration for the people to see how mm -hmm. the game app play. And then now uh, I think that um, we will uh, move to the Q&A sessions. Yes. Uh, we yes. can see that uh, there are some uh, questions here in the chat box. So firstly, we would like to uh, give our answer for these uh, questions first. And then uh, if uh, we still have time, uh, please uh, share your question here. And uh, also uh, later on, if we do not have time, we can uh, reply in a writing uh, to you all through GICHD. Yeah. Uh, so the first, the first question I already uh, answered in the chat box. How long did the development of the game app uh, take from inception to the final release? So it took about nine months for us to develop this game app. And uh, this game app includes six net levels. And uh, the game app will have uh, the language, the local language in Vietnamese and English as well. And this can be played online or offline when you download the game app uh, to your cell phone or computer. And uh, this game app, uh, not only the challenge, uh, but also have the uh, knowledge, uh, the general, um, all of the UAE knowledge for the student. Um, the student can learn the knowledge first and then they uh, start with the challenge. Yeah. Uh, and to the next question, what is the presents presented? We can see there's a lot of information about EO in the gallery. Is there an a section related to safe behavior? How do you make sure the library also promoting behavioral change? So this is uh, um, this uh, library, we will develop not only the EO uh, gallery, but also that's the presentation only. When you click uh, the, in the link that I shared, uh, is a design of the library. You can see that uh, later on, we will ha install a lot of different um, EOIE materials, uh, the trainings, the guidelines, the poster, the pictures, etc. cetera, of, uh, the animation clip, the video, uh, for the people, uh, for the student, and also the people around in Vietnam uh, to click on it, to learn about it. Um, uh, and also, uh, we will work with VNMAP to develop further of the guideline uh, on related UIE in the future uh, to upload on this library. So currently, it's just at the designing stage. So you can see clearly information uh, in the link that I shared, uh, the link of the design of the library. Yeah. Uh, the next question uh, from, uh, for, let me see, uh, from Hamid from GICHD, what is the internet, what is the internet lit literacy percentage or rate, rate in Vietnam? Actually, uh, the, in Vietnam, we can understand that about 97% of the total people in Vietnam uh, can read and write. And also the internet uh, coverage uh, mostly around Vietnam, uh, even in the rural area, uh, not 100%, but actually about like from 80, uh, around that 80% um, from the central to rural a mountainous area. Uh, yeah, so uh, especially in the EO effective community areas, uh, mostly in the central of Vietnam, uh, these area also have, uh, uh, they can easy to access the internet as well. Um, uh, so uh, further to this, what are the level of internet coverage and device ownership in the affected area so uh yeah ngân already answered this question yeah uh, yeah some question ngân already uh, answer um how heavy is the app i don't know what app for the game app is about nearly 600 
uh, megabyte. For others, it's depending on the designing, how the heavy of the material, etc. Um, let me move to, to the next one. Yeah, so I think that I have answered all of the question regarding the question of uh, for the sharing the presentation. Uh, I think that maybe we can just uh, convert it uh, to the PDF, uh, Faustin, and then we uh, share with uh, GIC HD, uh, and then uh, GIC HD can share uh, with the all of the group members. Uh, when you share all of related information of this meeting after, yeah, after today, after the, this meeting end, yeah. So, so all of the questions that I already answered, anyone would like to raise any other comments or any feedback or any other questions, etc. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to answer. So thank you very much. I think there is um, a new question in the chat, uh, but it disappeared from my screen. But there, oh yeah, so there was ah. a question from Mikola that was asking if yeah. it is possible to use this game app in other countries, and also what languages will be available in this application, and is it possible to change the language of this uh, application? And I think there is a very last question because after we won't maybe have time to answer the rest, but um, did, uh, are you aware? Uh, did you aware the so public I think about I just digital need platform? About one minute. Yeah, yeah no, I think go, go. About one minute for this. Go ahead, it's so a think, problem. Yeah, uh, this game app can be played in other country besides Vietnam uh, because it designs in both English and Vietnamese. Uh, for changing uh, to another additional language. So it's uh, quite uh, difficult for us because um, uh, at the beginning of the designing, we only uh, design in English and Vietnamese, but uh, I, I, I need to check again with the, the consultant, with the company uh, to see if possible um, to, to replicate uh, this model, uh, this app, uh, to another language, uh, this uh, we, we will give the answer later on. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you, Cho. This was really uh, brilliant. Uh, we had so many information from you and lessons learned. Uh, so this was really, really interesting. And for the pending questions in the chat, do not worry. Um, the few questions that are just still coming in the chat will be answered in writing and we, be, we will be able to circulate the answers through the usual channels later. Um, but once again, I would like to thank you. Thank you so much, uh, CRS colleagues, for this brilliant presentation. Uh, this was really uh, great and super interesting. And I think it also shows in the questions and in the chat. Um, I also would like to thank all participants to for attending this EORI Hour webinar. And we hope it was also uh, inspiring for you. Uh, I also would like to let you know that this was the last ERE Hour webinar for this year, and we hope to have new volunteers to present in 2024. So if you're interested, do not hesitate to register to host an ERE Hour webinar. You will find all relevant information in the concept notes uh, that we will send in the chat, the concept note of the ERI Hour webinar series. Uh, and you will be also able to find all the information on the ERI advisory group uh, webpage. So once again, thank you to everyone. And as we now enter the second part of this webinar, which is the networking circle, we will stop the recording. The recording of the first webinar of this webinar will be available online on uh, the ERE advisory group YouTube channel at a later date.